The National Defence Academy NDA is the Joint Services Academy of the Indian Armed Forces, where cadets of the three services, the Army, the Navy and the Air Force train together before they go on to respective service academies for further pre-commissioning training. The NDA is located at Kadakwasla near Pune, Maharashtra. It is the first tri-service academy in the world. NDA alumni have led and fought in every major conflict in which the Indian Armed Forces has been called to action since the Academy was established. The alumni include three Param Veer Chakra recipients and twelve Ashoka Chakra recipients. National Defence Academy has produced 27 service chiefs of staff till date. Current chiefs of staff of the Army, the Navy and the Air Force are all NDA alumni. History In 1941, Lord Linlithgow, then Viceroy of India received a gift of £100,000 from a grateful Sudanese government towards building a war memorial in recognition of the sacrifices of Indian troops in the liberation of Sudan in the East African Campaign during World War II. At the end of the war, Field Marshal Claude Ochinlek, then Commander-in-Chief of the Indian Army, drawing on experiences of the Army during the war, led a committee to study various military academies around the world and submitted a report to the Government of India in December 1946. The committee recommended the establishment of a Joint Services Military Academy, with training modelled on the United States Military Academy at West Point. After the independence of India in August 1947, the Chiefs of Staff Committee immediately implemented the recommendations of the Ochinlek Report. The committee initiated an action plan in late 1947 to commission a permanent defence academy and began the search for a suitable site. It also decided to set up an interim training academy, known as the Joint Services Wing (JSW), which was commissioned on the 1st of January 1949 at the Armed Forces Academy, now known as the Indian Military Academy, in Dehradun. Initially, after two years of training at the JSW, Army cadets went on to the military wing of the AFA for two years of further pre-commission training, while the Navy and Air Force cadets were sent to Dartmouth and Cranwell in the United Kingdom for further training. Following partition, India's share of the monetary gift received from Sudan, amounted to £70,000 the remaining £30,000 went to Pakistan. The Indian Army decided to use these funds to partly cover the cost of construction of the NDA. The foundation stone for the academy was laid by then Prime Minister of India, Jawaharlal Nehru on 6 October 1949. The National Defence Academy was formally commissioned on 7 December 1954, with an inauguration ceremony held on 16 January 1955. The JSW programme was transferred from the IMA to the NDA. <laughs> Campus The NDA campus is located about 17 km southwest of Pune city, northwest of Kadakwasla Lake. It spans 7,015 acres square kilometers of the 8,022 acres square kilometers donated by the government of the former Bombay state. The site was chosen for being on a lake shore, the suitability of the neighbouring hilly terrain, proximity to the Arabian Sea and other military establishments, an operational air base nearby at Lohagaon as well as the salubrious climate. The existence of an old combined forces training centre and a disused mock landing ship, HMS Angostura, on the north bank of the Kadakwasla Lake which had been used to train troops for amphibious landings, lent additional leverage for the selection of the site. Aptly, NDA is also located in the hunting grounds of the legendary Shivaji, with the Sinhagad fort as a panoramic backdrop. The administrative headquarters of the NDA was named the Sudan Bloc, in honour of the sacrifices of Indian soldiers in the Sudan theatre during the East African Campaign. It was inaugurated by then Ambassador of Sudan to India, Ramatullah Abdullah, on 30 May 1959. The building is a three-story basalt and granite structure constructed with Jodhpur red sandstone. Its architecture features an exterior design comprising a blend of arches, pillars and verandas, topped by a dome. The foyer has white Italian marble flooring and panelling on the interior walls. On the walls of the foyer hang the portraits of NDA graduates who have been honoured with the highest gallantry awards, the Param Veer Chakra or the Ashoka Chakra. 
A number of war relics adorn the NDA campus, including legendary captured tanks and aircraft. The Vyas Library offers an extensive collection of over 100,000 printed volumes, in addition to numerous electronic subscriptions and a number of periodicals and journals from around the world in at least ten languages. Topic admission applicants to the NDA are selected via a written exam conducted by the UPSC, followed by extensive interviews by the SSB covering general aptitude, psychological testing, team skills as well as physical and social skills, along with medical tests. Incoming classes are accepted twice a year for semesters starting in July and January. About 4, 50,000 applicants sit for each written exam. Typically, about 6,300 of these are invited to interview. Only unmarried male candidates are eligible for NDA and NA examination. The minimum age should be 16 and half years and maximum age should be 19 and half years. Applicants to join the Air Force also go through a pilot aptitude battery test. About 320 cadets are accepted to the academy each semester. About 70 cadets are accepted for the Air Force, 42 for the Navy and 208 for the Army. Cadets who are accepted and successfully complete the program are sent to their respective training academies for one year of training before granting of commission. Army cadets go to Indian Military Academy at Dehradun, Air Force cadets to Air Force Academy at Dundagal, Hyderabad, and Naval cadets to Indian Naval Academy, Easy Himala, Kerala. Curriculum <coughs> 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 Academics The NDA offers only a full-time, residential undergraduate program. Cadets are awarded a baccalaureate degree a Bachelor of Arts or a Bachelor of Science after three years of study. Cadets have a choice of two streams of study. The science stream offers studies in physics, chemistry, mathematics and computer science. The humanities liberal arts stream offers studies in history, economics, political science, geography and languages. In both streams, academic studies are split into three categories. In the compulsory course, cadets study English, foreign languages Arabic, Chinese, French or Russian, physics, chemistry, mathematics, computer science, history, political science, economics and geography. Note that all cadets must take basic classes in all these subjects except foreign languages. Cadets then take advanced classes depending on their chosen stream. The foundation course is mandatory and comprises military studies and general studies. Subjects such as military history, military geography, weapons systems and armaments, etc. are covered in military studies. Subjects such as geopolitics, human rights, laws of armed conflict and environmental sciences are covered in general studies. The optional course focuses on subjects specific to the cadet's chosen service. Cadets spend the first 4 semesters on the compulsory course and the foundation course. They take the optional course during the 5th and 6th semesters. They may transfer to other service academies for the optional courses. Topic. Training Training pattern All the cadets joining the NDA after their 10 plus 2 examination are trained in the academy for three years culminating in graduation with BA, BSc or BC's computer science degree of Jawaharlal Nehru University. Apart from academic training they are also trained in outdoor skills, like drill, PT and games, apart from one of the foreign languages up to the lower B1 level according to the international standards. The emphasis in NDA is on character building, esprit de corps, mental and physical robustness, leadership and a sense of keen observation. Life in NDA is all about learning discipline and adhering self-improvement. NDA has an excellent infrastructure for all-round training of cadets and a vast array of facilities like spacious and well-maintained classrooms, well-equipped labs, two Olympic-size swimming pools, a gymnasium, 32 football fields, two polo grounds, a cricket stadium and a number of squash and tennis courts. The academic year is divided into two terms, viz. spring Jan, to May, and autumn July to deck. A cadet must undergo training for a total of six terms before graduating from the NDA. Topic: 
Squadrons and battalions On reporting to the academy, a cadet is allotted to one of the 18 squadrons, which becomes his home away from home for the next three years. The squadrons are named as Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hunter, India, Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Panther, Quebec and Romeo. Number 1, Number 2, Number 3 and Number 4 battalions have four squadrons each while Number 5 has two squadrons. Each squadron has approximately 100 to 120 cadets drawn from senior as well as junior courses under training in the academy. In the recently concluded autumn term 14, November Squadron, who call themselves as ninjas, emerged as champion squadron and won the coveted Chiefs of Staff banner for the consecutive second time. As the number of cadets joining the NDA is increasing annually, the Defence Ministry of India had recently sanctioned the raising of 16th, 17th and 18th squadrons, with the initial letter of their names being P, Q and R, respectively. It is remarkable that the newly raised Panther Squadron won the Academy Cross Country Run Championship in its first participation in spring 2012. A squadron comprising a healthy and wide ranging mixture of cadets from diverse backgrounds and varying abilities is a veritable melting pot, where the bonds of camaraderie are forged. The squadron spirit is inculcated and nurtured throughout the cadets' stay. The prestigious Inter Squadron Championship trophy awarded to the best squadron epitomizes the pinnacle of teamwork and team spirit. The Champion Squadron has the proud tradition of possession of the Champion Banner for one term, which is carried during the parade and other sports meets. Each squadron has its own nickname, an individual identity with a richly textured history and mascot. The rudimentary import of the NDA's motto, "'Service Before Self'", is first taught in the environs of the squadron, where a cadet learns the importance of putting the squadron's requirements well above his own. Twelve Indian states donated approximately ours. 500000 each for the construction of the various squadrons. The following squadron buildings have been named after the donor states: A. Madras and Andhra Pradesh; B. Madhya Pradesh; C. Maharashtra; D. Bihar; E. Uttar Pradesh; F. Orissa; G. Gujarat; H. Karnataka; I. Punjab; J. West Bengal; K. Assam; L. Mumbai. Topic: Service training. Army Cadet are imparted a blend of outdoor and indoor training. Outdoor training is carried out in the hilly and wooded terrain in and around the National Defense Academy campus. Indoor training includes theoretical and practical simulated training. Cadets are taught subjects such as tactical training, weapon training, map reading, military writing, field engineering, organization and administration and radio telephony. A five-day camp is an additional feature of the training. Training visits to operational military establishments and bases are also incorporated to enhance the practical content of the training. During his stay at the NDA, an Army cadet is taught judging distances, terrain study, indication and recognition of targets, camouflage and concealment, trench digging, observation by day and night, stalking, organization of an infantry section, section formations, field signals, fire control orders, section in attack, defense and patrolling. They are also taught handling of firearms, marksmanship and night firing. In addition, aspects of NBC warfare and sea ops are also taught to the cadets. An inter-squadron bayonet fighting competition is held to inculcate a spirit of aggression and martial hue is also to teach the nuances of hand-to-hand -hand combat. An inter-squadron firing competition is also conducted to enhance levels of marksmanship and night firing skills. Camps. Camp Greenhorn Duration, four days Camp Greenhorn is conducted to introduce a second-term cadet to the basic battle subjects such as map reading, tent pitching, fitting of web equipment, navigation, endurance training, compass reading and development of leadership qualities. Camp Rover Duration, four day 
Camp Rover is conducted to introduce a fourth term cadet to the basic battle subjects such as map reading, tent pitching, fitting of web equipment, navigation, endurance training, compass reading and development of leadership qualities. Camp Torna In the sixth term Camp Torna is conducted, where practical aspects are reinforced in simulated field conditions. The cadets are provided with opportunities to demonstrate leadership qualities in various tactical situations. The training is geared to prepare a cadet to lead an infantry section effectively. Other aspects covered during the camp include map reading and navigation by day and night, quick attack at section level, patrolling, ambush, endurance training, and occupation of a section defended post and conduct of a defensive battle at section level by night. Navy The Naval Training Team is the oldest of the training teams at the NDA. The main task of the Naval Training Team is to trained V and V-term naval cadets on specialist service subjects both theoretical and practical. Naval cadets on completion of their three years of training go to Indian Naval Academy as their finishing academy for one year, where they commence their M Science degree along with cadets of INA who will be doing B Tech. Syllabus – The major emphasis is laid on navigation, seamanship and communication. A total of 328 theoretical classes which are currently under revision are conducted for V-term naval cadets. The percent-wise distribution of periods of service subjects as follows Training Theoretical instructions – Theoretical instructions are imparted in the classroom at NTT and Peacock Bay by using modern teaching methodology where in 3D models, CHI and CBT packages, scaled-down models are used. Practical instructions – Practical instructions are imparted in the Watermanship Training Center at Peacock Bay during regular periods and during club days. In addition to classroom instructions at NTT, practical classes on seamanship are conducted at Peacock Bay while communication practicals are conducted at NTT both in the morning as well as in the evenings on all service days. Visits – In order to orient the cadets to the Navy, an orientation visit to Mumbai is conducted prior to the commencement of service training, during which the cadets visit various class of ships, submarines, shop floors, repair facilities etc. As part of the visit the naval cadets are sent to NBCD school to acquaint with fire fighting, damage control aspects. Further, to inculcate competitive sprit and adventurism amongst the cadets, V-term naval cadets are sent to Naval Academy, Easy Himala to take part in open sea whaler sailing expedition and interact with their counterparts at the INA. Camps, Camp Varuna I during the middle of the term to get a first-hand experience onboard during sailing and Camp Varuna II at the end of the term to put the theoretical knowledge acquired at NTT into practical use during the three days sailing. Watermanship training, NTT has been holding a huge repository of watermanship equipment at Watermanship Training Center, Peacock Bay located on the waterfront of Kadakwasla Lake. Watermanship Club's functional varieties at Watermanship Training Center, Peacock Bay are as follows Yachting Kayaking Windsurfing Rowing Water skiing Ship modeling Air Force The Air Force Training Team aims at training Air Force cadets in the basics of military aviation through ground training and flying training. Ground training is conducted with the help of modern training aids, aircraft models, and cross-sectional models of aero engines and instruments, radio telephony simulators and flight simulators. Flying training consists of a minimum of eight sorties on the Super Demona aircraft. Cadets also get an exposure to deflection firing through skeet shooting. Visits to key Air Force training establishments, Air Force stations and civil aviation centers are also undertaken to give cadets first-hand experience of aviation activities. Flying training at the AFTT is fully backed by an automatic weather station, air traffic control station, a paved runway and a dispersal for six aircraft. The AFTT was formed towards the end of 1956. The aim of the AFTT is to introduce the V-term cadets to gliding and allied professional subjects, which in turn prepares them for their professional training in the Air Force flying establishments. Over the last 60 years, the gliding training has evolved into flying training. Five different classes of gliders were acquired by the Academy since 1957. They are Sedberg T21B, Baby Eon, Eon Olympics, Rahini and Ardra gliders. 
All these gliders with the exception of the Baby Eon and Eon Olympics were utilized in the flying training of the cadets. The Sedberg T-21B was the mainstay of the AFTT in glider flying. Cadets were split into batches of eight and allotted to an instructor. Each cadet was permitted a total of 60 training launches, after which two to three mandatory solo check launches were flown with the Chief Flying Instructor Cadets cleared for solo flying flew one solo trip on the glider and were then formally awarded their wings, exactly half the size of the official Indian Air Force wings, which were worn above the left shirt pocket of their formal uniforms. Sandbags were used as ballast in place of the absent instructor. The light T-21Bs were usually winched up to 1,000, and were very easy to handle. The Rahini was much heavier and could only be winched up to 800, shortening average flight time to four minutes from six minutes earlier. Instructors who felt that their pupil cadets had reached solo check status ahead of time could have such pupils fly with the CFI without prejudice to further flying training. Second and third solo sorties were also permitted. The cadet who went solo with the lowest number of launches was usually awarded the best in gliding trophy on the guest dining in night, one night prior to the passing out parade. The Air Force cadet who stood first in ground subjects was awarded the Squadron LDR Vasudev Memorial Book Prize that same night. The Baby Eons and Eon Olympics were flown about once a fortnight by instructor pilots on Sundays, to keep them flyworthy. These were acquired German design gliders from the pre-independence era and were showing their age, particularly the 1931 design Schneider Grunna Baby, rebuilt in the UK as the Baby Eon and the Hans Jacobs 1940 designed Olympia, produced in England from 1947 by Elliott's of Newbury. Both had plywood skins. The induction of Super Demona, a lightweight fixed-wing powered aircraft in 2001, is a watershed in the history of AFTT and introduced a quantum jump in the quality of training. In addition to flying eight sorties on Super Demona, a cadet is taught subjects like aerodynamics, navigation, aero engines, instrumentation, aviation medicine, airmanship, airframes, avionics and radio aids, meteorology, GSK and air power. Visits to Air Force Academy, Air Wing at Indian Armament Technology, Air Base at Pune and College of Military Engineering are organized to enable the Air Force cadets to appreciate the Air Force aspects. A glidardrome having a 950 meters feet long runway is maintained within the premises of the NDA by the AFTT. The Air Force cadets of the Academy learn the basics of gliding and powered flight at this facility on the Diamond HK-36 Super Demona gliders. Commandants Firstly, an interim training academy was set up at the Indian Military Academy commissioned as Joint Services Wing on 1 January 1949. Later National Defence Academy was constructed in Pune and was formally commissioned on 7 December 1954 as the successor to JSW of IMA. The program of JSW was transferred from IMA to NDA. Major General Thakur Mahadeo Singh was the first Commandant of JSW at IMA. Later Major General E. Habibullah was the first Commandant of National Defence Academy at Pune. Air Marshal I. P. Vipin VM is the present Commandant. Alumni Alumni of the Academy have led and fought in every major conflict in which India has participated since the Academy was established. They have an illustrious record of numerous gallantry awards and achieving three Param Veer Chakras, 31 Maha Veer Chakras, 160 Veer Chakra, 11 Ashok Chakras, 40 Kurti Chakras and 135 Shaurya Chakras. 11 Chiefs of Army Staff, 10 Chiefs of Naval Staff and 4 Chiefs of Air Staff of the Indian Armed Forces have been NDA alumni. In the media The Standard Bearers, a documentary directed and written by Dipti Balas and Kunal Verma provides an inside look into the history and operations of the NDA. Another documentary film, My Flag, My Life, written by Ambernath Sinha and directed by Nandan Kuyadi and Sanjay Dabki, provides details about the life of NDA cadets, and is intended to create awareness about a career in the armed forces among the young generation. <laughs> <laughs> 